Now on to the installation of the cooler. I am going to be going really in depth. I am going to making uh, yeah, I'm going to be making a different video on the installation of aftermarket GPU coolers. So hopefully that will be helpful. So first up, yeah, you want to be uh, removing your stock cooler, and then once you've actually done that, you want to be uh, yeah choosing and inserting the screws into the mounting plate on the actual cooler itself. That's where it you know, the copper is on the cooler. Now, once you've done this, you wanna be uh, yeah, locating the hot component areas such as the VRMs and the RAM chips and installing thermal pads on the hot areas, but on the reverse side. Now, once you've done this, you wanna be uh, yeah, positioning the protective film and marking down with kind of a permanent marker, yeah, the hot areas and cutting the openings for the hot areas so that the thermal pads can be touching the uh, heatsink on the opposite side. So once you've done this, you wanna be verifying the protective film alignment and then yeah, you wanna be securing this with screws, adding the clips. And once you've done this, you can install your GPU and then finally install your graphics card holder. Cause this card is quite large, it will sag inside your case. So this actual gra graphics card holder is to kinda, you know, stop that and you know, somewhat prevent that from, you know, sagging and breaking. So yeah, it's all good. Anyhow, let's kinda get onto the benchmarks and yeah, let's see how this performs.